So folks, that's your intake manifold runner control solenoid. It's right there. And that's your map sensor next to it. See that brand new shiny thing with the two bolts? It's just two hoses and a switch. And it's right, right in under your, your trowel assembly. Okay, welcome back to my uh, YouTube channel. If you're new, subscribe. I uh, really appreciate it, and I do appreciate all the new subscribers. Um, you're the best. Uh, this is not a going to be a how-to necessarily. Um, I'm just uh, I needed to replace a um, intake manifold runner control solenoid yeah it's a mouthful i don't even remember it at the time but however uh, this is just a part number from uh i got a oem for this uh cost about 56 bucks taxes and all here in the, the great white north um okay so i got a picture a little bit of a video where this is located on my car, a 2007 Ford Focus. Good car, reliable, but now I've never done nothing with it really. But now it's you know it is old and it's starting to the little things are starting to break down and everything. So far, nothing major, but you know how it is. Um, so I tried this solenoid and with the uh, Holmes meter. And it's uh, extremely high. I tried hooking it up. I don't. I, I don't have a uh, uh, a probe, a power probe, but I did hook it up to the battery. And it there's no click whatsoever. So uh, I don't know if anybody have ever taken those apart, but uh, I have in the past. But uh, just just gonna show you what's in here well maybe I should I don't even I'm not sure how it works but I got a good idea should be a little barrel a little barrel in there and when the, the windings make the magnetic field it uh, it should move that little little barrel uh, back and forth and when you blow in this one nothing should come out of here and, and, and vice versa for the opposite the way that the switch is I call it a barrel because it's just it should be just a, a little steel hollow barrel sort of thing just enough to close off the gap you know if I could ever get this off. Okay. So come on, don't be difficult. Don't be difficult. Anyway, I'm not worried about breaking this thing. It's just I didn't want to tear everything to pieces and not have anything to something like that. So there's a whole ring right, that goes, hopefully you can see that, I'm not used to wearing this uh, GoPro, but that O-ring goes on there, I'll keep that O-ring actually, it looks in good shape, right, and that goes there, <coughs> and you got, this should be able to come up, yeah, and you got another hole ring at the bottom, Good shape. So what happens? That should come out here. So in here, right? In here, there she. Okay, there she goes. Now we're missing something here. We're missing something that probably I don't 
see it. Should be a spring. Uh, yeah, there should have been a spring. But anyway, I hope you can see it on down there. Anyway, <coughs> there's some. It must have went flying. Oh, there it is. There she is. Right there. So this spring, when this is in, like this, this spring sits on top of that tube. And when this is in here, right, this is, in it, when this bees energized, just picture this like this. And this is on top, right? So this energizes. You got the vacuum hoses, right? This energizes at the right time, and this is going to be in like that. So, this is here. It's going to energize, it's going to push it out, and push it back. That's the, that's the, the little ticking that you'll hear. Right? The, the magnetic field pulls this back in this tube. Plastic goes over here and then that's how it works. This tube, this little barrel thing here is going to go back and forth in here so it's down here. So when it's like this it, it blocks off the air from going here. right? And then it'll come out here like whatever way it it operates, right? I don't know because I couldn't energize it. But uh, since it's, see, it's hollow, right? So it fits down in this tube, which you can't see, but inside there's a tube that goes inside of here. And a little rubber piece on both ends. So when this is sucked down, it's going to seal against that rubber tube. And nothing is going to come out of here. It's going to come out of here. And then when this is pushed forward, then the vacuum can suck from here and come out, suck it out of here, which is going to activate activate your uh, the plunger, the diaphragm on your actuator, which turns the swirl flaps inside the, the damn intake manifold which gives us nothing but trouble. So that's how that works folks. If you uh, ever want, I might uh, uh, keep, keep the springs and everything. Uh, but the rest is garbage. I might keep this up. Uh, you never know when you need a little um, you know, part of a hose for connecting to vacuum lines, you know. I've used them before. So, uh, yeah. But that's it. Uh, the forward part is... So, that's all there is to a, a solenoid. And, uh, like I say, if you wanted to uh, test it, you just hook up a 12 volt to the thing and you should hear a snap. A click. Uh, now it don't mean if you don't hear a click that it's it's totally bad, but that'll give you a good indication. Uh, you know if it is, and if you hook the Holmes meter up and uh, you get a very high res uh, very high resistance for this particular one, I was told. I'm not no uh, electrician, so uh, maybe. Uh, Maybe Mike at uh, Grampy's workshop. I think he was an electrician, but uh, or any of you guys. There's all kinds of you out there, so I don't know what you all do. But maybe um, maybe the high homes is what you need for this thing. But uh, I was told on a Ford website, and when I asked a guy at Ford, this shouldn't have a real high uh, resistance. It should have a resistance of, uh, 
anywhere from 5 to 20, I believe he said. This one here was 50 or something like that. So, uh, the, the code was P2004, and the code haven't been back since. I, I don't know how long it would take. It used to come on pretty fast when you clear the code, but it in a few days and it hasn't come on so folks that's it it's not a how to it's just more of a, a curious video curious George video anyway guys thank you so much for subscribing um, yeah and I hope that you have a great holiday and if you don't if you don't celebrate Christmas you know that's fine too I hope you stay safe 